We're going to go on to a spe specifically a few more cases in a minute, different types of issues that you can help people. But I just want to say that in your counselling, what you're trying to do is give people hope. Not a false hope, but a hope. So many counsellors, so many pastors crush their people. Even counsellors can crush the people. I've seen professional counsellors who counsel people actually crush their clients because they've said a wrong word or they've interpreted some something that the person said in a wrong way. A lot of pastors, a lot of leaders actually crush their own congregations because they're not listening, they're not understanding, they're not really doing it right. And one of the reasons is is because you're not giving the person hope. To to take away a person's hope is, is cruel. And uh, a lot of pastors, for whatever reason, end up doing that. Um, now, I'm not saying you give people false hope. But you always got to give people hope. That you've got to look for a something within their life that you can take and say, "Look, there's hope. There's hope." You know, even if the person's dying of cancer, you can say, "Well, you're a Christian. You believe in heaven. There's hope." <laughs> Somewhere in that person's life, you've got to find. The biblical truth that will help them to know that they have hope. If they're unemployed, the biblical truth is that God doesn't want people to be languish and God will use them. If if they have fallen sick and they feel that they're useless, the biblical truth there is that even in our weakness we are made strong. You see, you look for the thing in the Bible, in the Word of God and in their life that can give them hope. You've always got to give people hope. If someone's struggling with sin, and you say, well, you're always going to be like that, you just destroy them. You can say, there's hope. God can give you victory. Without hope, people will die spiritually. And so often, pastors and leaders don't give people hope. They say the wrong thing, and they crush the person, rather than give the person hope. That doesn't mean to say you give them false hope. But there's always something in a person's life that you can take and say, look, there's hope. Always, okay? <laughs>